What's up guys, Inferno here. Now, I'm sure if you are a big anime fan, you'll know that there are anime villains that you either love to hate or hate to love. That's what I'm actually going to be going over today. My top five favorite anime villains. I mean, I'm basing these favorites based on my personal opinions on these characters, whether uh, they be super OP, super badass, a sleek backstory, it could be anything really. So, I am actually interested to see how you guys find my top 5 favourites. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, if you agree with my top 5, what are your favourite top 5 anime villains, and if you have any videos just for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's get into the video! At number 5, we have Father from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Honestly, this guy's a dick. He's the definition of a villain. He thinks he's purer than anyone else. He extracted his own seven desires in order for him to be more pure. And he has a, a plan to cause mass genocide just so he can have the powers of a god. Yeah, that's the definition of a villain, all right. I love the creation of Bob, though. He started off as a dwarf in the blast and he was created from Hohenheim's blood. And thanks to an experiment, he was given life. But he decided to cause mass genocides in a single night, just so that he it could be a living philosopher stone and have his own human form and also survive without being contained in the flask. Yeah, and then he decided to do the whole thing over again, just so he can become a god. This guy, oh, this guy's a dick. Also, keep in mind that he views humans as, well, as common as insects. Like, have you seen the part where we get first introduced to him? Literally, he said that humans are as low as insects. And honestly, that just sends shivers right down my spine. Honestly, this guy's voice actor is so chilling and ominous. It makes your hair stand on edge. Honestly, I really like Father because his goals were very unique. Like, not in terms of him wanting to be God, but him in making a giant and transmutation circle for on the entire country. That was very, very unique. And also causing and a cast of blood from each point. Honestly, and also uh, using his homunculus to cause all the harm that happens in the country. I thought that was very, very unique and very well thought out. Plus, his character design is also pretty cool. And I especially I like it when he turns into the more humanoid dwarf in the flask human version of himself. Still, this, ca this character is obviously a very, very well thought out character. And I don't see many people say that they like Father that much, so I feel uh, like he's a little underappreciated. At number four, we have Freezer, the OG of OGs. Honestly, we all know why he's here. He's iconic, he's badass, he's kind of racist, but we still like him because of the fact that he is just a mood. Honestly, I just feel like Freezer is, well, he is, I don't know, I don't I think he's overhyped, but I don't think he's underhyped. I feel like he's correctly hyped, even though people say he's a bit overhyped. Still, he's got that publicity for a reason. He's the OG of OGs. Honestly, this guy is just a total dick, but it works. Plus, I personally liked it when they brought him back from um, Super. I know n not many people like the fact that they brought him back, but honestly, I really liked it because I actually really love Freezer. He is just an absolute dick, but it's funny when he is a dick. It can sometimes get a little annoying when he constantly he calls the Saiyans a bunch of filthy monkey race. But honestly, I feel like this is a perfect villain. He's got pretty basic goals, 
but he's also extremely powerful and his fight scenes are very strong. Honestly, Frieza is just an OG. We need to give him more love. Plus, I kind of like Frieza because he was actually one of the first anime impressions that I tried to uh, do. And ever since then, kind of fell in love with doing impressions of Frieza and in doing impressions in general. So, that kind of makes me uh, like Frieza a bit more as well. And number three, we have Dio. We all know why Dio's here. Dio is a legend. And we all know why he's a legend. Because... I hated Dio at first. I'm, well, I'm not gonna lie. When I first started watching Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, obviously I started with part one, and I hated the fact that he kicked Danny and then threw him in an incinerator. That really rubbed me off the wrong way because of the fact that I'm a big dog lover. I love my doggos. And not gonna lie, that kind of made me have the wrong idea of him. But his backstory, that was actually quite uh, fun to watch. Honestly, Dio's backstory was kind of sad. Literally, he grew up with a drunken father who was also a bit of a dick. And he literally had to play chess with a bunch of other drunks just to get by. So honestly, I can kind of see where he gets his evil side from. Plus his plan to get rid of the Josars was pretty clever. Like getting in poison so that way he can poison the dad and then eventually get rid of Jonathan. That was pretty smart considering the fact that he still wasn't a vampire. Then, when he became a vampire, he turned the dial straight to 11. Literally, he was honestly the epitome of a villain. I'm pretty sure that he even did unspeakable things to Jor Orno's mother. So, yeah, that happened. And also because of the fact that he also threatened to kill someone else's sister, I believe. Literally slicing their neck open to get out a vital organ and threaten and Jonathan if he did anything He'll snap it and then she'll die Honestly, this guy is an absolute monster I definitely enjoyed Dio more in part 3 than I did part 1 But part 1 Dio was also really really fun to watch Still, I loved watching his fight with Well, Jotaro Literally, Jotaro vs. Dio is so iconic. It's by far one of my favorite fight scenes in anime. It is such a badass fight, and you cannot tell me otherwise. And number two, we have Aizen. Honestly, Aizen is such a badass character. Like, how could you not like Aizen? He is probably the definition of a sleek, calm badass. Literally straight up, we don't know what or when he became a bad guy. As far as we know, he's always been this way. Literally, he was spending his entire time betraying the Soul Society just so he could get his chance to take the Hogyoku to then betray the Soul Society to then go to Waco Mundo to team up with the Espada to rule all three dimensions. Hope that way he can and take out the real world, he can take, take out the Soul Society, and he can rule the Waco Mundo dimension and rule pretty much all dimensions at this point. That is honestly the definition of a badass. Plus, we all know that his ability is super OP. Literally, anybody who sees the blade will always be able to be hypnotized. And they even have think they have the ability to think that they've hypnotized others. But that's what Eisen will want them to think. When in reality, he wasn't hypnotized at all. Plus, keep in mind that Eisen is a stone cold killer. He will happily kill anyone and everything he views as an interference to his plans. And he's not afraid to change his plans to then kill off someone 
just so he can continue his plans. Literally, this guy is an absolute monster. Plus, I also am a massive fan of his transformation when he, he did the final fight against Ichigo. That transformation, when he turned into a hollow, crossed with a, a Soul Reaper, honestly, that was pretty badass, honestly. This guy is probably one of the greatest villains in all anime history. And finally, at number one, we have Madara. Were you expecting anything less? It's my favorite anime villain from my favorite anime of all time. Honestly, this guy is probably the best anime villain I've ever seen and probably ever will see. I really like the fact that he's probably the best philosophical villain out of all of them. Like, I'm a big fan of philosophy. I got into it fairly recently, and honestly, I feel like his philosophies are very, very hard-hitting, if you ask me. Plus, it doesn't exactly hurt that he is just a straight-up badass. Literally, he went into the war and took on a large portion of the Shinobi Alliance, like he was literally nothing but cardboard cutouts. Honestly, this guy is just absolutely busted. Not to mention the fact that he almost like destroyed a large portion of the village by dropping a giant meteor from the sky. How is he able to um, summon meteors? I don't know, because he's that bloody badass. I also found it really sick when he literally took on the five car game and knocked them around like they were pieces of glass. Honestly, the, this is probably the best anime villain I will ever see in my life. Plus, it doesn't exactly hurt that his Ten Tails transformation was absolutely sick. Plus, I also love the fight between him and Mike Guy. I feel like that fight could have gone either way. But in the end, I kind of knew that the fight was leading more towards Madara because of the fact that he had visual jutsu on his side while Mike Guy just only had Tai Jutsu. Still, it was a very close fight. Honestly, Madara will always be my favorite anime villain, mainly because of the fact that Naruto will always be my favorite anime and also because that Madara is a straight up badass and will happily kill a half a village if he felt like it. And plus, his philosophies, they hit hard. And that's why Madara is my number one. And there the guys, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Bitch, let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If you agree with my list, what are some of your favorite anime villains? And if you have any video suggestions for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Also guys, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel if you like what I do and you haven't subscribed yet. Because I noticed a large portion of a lot of YouTubers just watch their videos and don't subscribe to them. Please guys, subscribe to me. It helps me out a lot. Plus, when I hit 400 subscribers, I'm going to be doing four crazy ass dares that you guys suggest no backing out. So please, subscribe to me if you haven't already and you like what I do. If you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it, if you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, it's been Inferno today. Okay, that's all for me, so until the next time, this is Inferno, signing off. Bye!